China adhering to the Paris Agreement by tackling climate change. Just last year, the country committed to picking carbon emissions by 2030 and realizing carbon neutrality by 2060. But that's not all it has done. So what does this mean on the ground or even in the sky? And how are local governments trying to reduce carbon emissions and even planning for months, years, and decades ahead? You might have seen one of the protests just now, the drone flying overhead to the other side of the river. Now I'm in Rugao port in Jiangsu province at the largest waterway service station on the Yangtze River. The drone flying overhead is transporting supplies to the ships and boats on the other side of the river. And that is quite cool, right? Because it could never happen on the expressway. Now I'd like to invite an official from the local maritime sector, Mr. Xu Ruepeng, to tell us more about how this water service station works. 你好,先生,你好,先生,我们介绍一下咱们这个雪上服务区的一个运行情况。好的。如果雪上绿色服务区由四艘登船组成。现在我们所站的这条登船就是最大的这条登船,一百一十米长。如果雪上绿色服务区
It is powered by both onshore grid and the photovoltaic facilities. The charging panels offer the ships in the river an easy access to electricity as they don't need to park at the harbor to get charged. Uh, in just one year, the charging panels here could help uh, save 1.9 million yuan fuel cost for the ships with carbon dioxide emissions cut down by about 16,000 tons and the sulfur dioxide by 40,000 tons. Wow, that is much more convenient for the ships and the sailors and more, in more importantly, it is more environmentally friendly, right? Yes, now follow me. You will find something more different here. In this store? Yes. So everything is ready. We have, we have every equipment. Now I'm going to show you another innovation in the, in the use of energy. So about the kitchen? Yes. Can you find anything special about the kitchen in the station? Uh, do you mean the food or... No, food is nothing special. Uh, actually, there is no trace of fire or natural gas. No trace of fire or natural gas? Yes. The chiefs here uh, use electric equipment to cook. So and you mean this cooker? Yes, yes. Has no fire or gas? In the past few years, the Jiangsu province has made great effort in promoting this new style electric kitchen. Yeah, I have heard, I've ever heard that in some cities of Jiangsu province, mm. the, uh, the cities are required to apply are established as the pilot cities to apply the all electric kitchens but in real life this is the first time that I've ever seen uh, yes compared with traditional kitchen it is safer and energy saving and uh, uh, making it possible for us to achieve zero carbon emissions that is unbelievable I've ever seen I've ever I've never seen that before So, Ms. Ding, I know that many ships are always on long-distance navigation during which they might cause uh, much oil pollution and there will be a lot of household garbage. So, is there any method to uh, curb this situation? Uh, the secret is an uh, electric boat uh, for pollution reception and the transfer. So, is the electric boat over there in the second wharf boat? Yes, yes, let's have a look. Why not? Uh, Miss Ding, I think, I guess this is the boat you just mentioned, the electric boat. Yes, the bottom of the boat is a space of sewage storage where there is a pipe pumping from the ships from uh, ships passing by and the pollutant will then be transported to the uh, sewage treatment plant. That's great. The waterway service station here is just one example of how the country is shifting toward low carbon development. And I hope projects like this can be emulated world over. This is all for today's Xinhua. Bye for now.